kind of coming backwards, but this is my Magpul Tejas El Original. I probably butchered that belt. Right, it's a cool little shooty skull guy there. And I bought this in December of 2016. So I've had it for about uh, almost two years now, for a while. And I just wanted to kind of do a two year after the fact review of it. Uh, and I gotta say, in general, it has held up pretty well. Um, as you can see, it's a little wonky there. You can kind of tell where I continue to, to kind of put my buckle in, right? It's, it's pretty flexible. It, it's flexed up a lot. But really, what this is made out of is, is leather. You know, it's, it's actual real leather. And then there's a plastic insert in here to help give it some rigidity. Uh, but at this point, it is exceedingly comfortable. I have done some. Let's see if I can get this here. As you can see, I mean, it's, it's decently scuffed from some wear and tear on it. Uh, that one was a particularly bad one. This one is me trying to rack my gun off my belt. That was the last time I did that because I did not <laughs> like how that uh, ended up. But, you know, as you can see, I mean, I've, I've put some marks on it. This mark right here was trying to feed it through a um, T-Rex arms holster, and it just scoured it. And that was the last time I tried to... This belt is too thick to go through the T-Rex arms holster when it has the tight belt loops on. As you can see, I really marked it all the way down there. And then all this stuff, I have no idea what that is. So, it's a bit beat up, but I'll tell you, um, it's still a wonderfully functional belt. Uh, I like I said, I've had it for about two years. This is my go-to belt uh, pretty much every day. So, I I've worn it quite a lot uh, in the past almost two years. And it's, it's held up marvelously. Um, I might need to give it some leather cleaner or something here now. But I believe I paid around... $90, $80, $90 for this belt, including shipping somewhere in there. And it's been worth it. I would recommend it to you. If you just need a good quality leather belt, uh, this would be a, a fantastic option. It'll hold your gun up. It'll hold your pants up. It works great. You do got to be a little careful with it. Like I said, you know, it's it scratched easier than I would have liked. Uh, if you're going to go for a day of all day training, you're going to be racking your gun off your belt. I, I don't know. Um, that being said, if you don't care, you look at those scratches and you're like, I don't, I don't care, Dylan. Then, hey, knock yourself out. It's going to hold up just fine. Oh, uh, I was going to say one other thing. These uh, are removable and replaceable. So if you want to swap the buckle out and put a custom buckle in, you can do that. Uh, which is just kind of a cool option. But, you know, as usual, right? Magpul makes a, a quality product. Shocker. And really enjoyable Magpul belt. So... If you're looking in the market for a good gun belt that is fashionable, uh, that you can actually wear, and if someone sees is an awkward, uh, you know, I got an Aries Geo belt. I'm going to do a review on that too, but it's got this ugly scuba webbing. Super helpful, but it's ugly. My wife hated it, right? And I couldn't like wear it in public when I was with her because it, it looked too hideous. But this thing looks, it's a, it looks like a normal belt. It's just double thickness. As you can tell, it's got some decent thickness to it and uh, will hold your gun just fine. Do brave deeds and endure.